Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about 16th problem from triple column cash book topic. I am taking this question from Telangana State Telugu Academy Inter First Year Accountancy Test Book. But this video is useful to all common students who want to know about this topic. So previous videos links are available in the description box. This is triple column cash book. We can also call it as three column cash book. Otherwise, cash book with discount, cash and the bank columns. All are same. So even though we wrote cash book, format is account format. So debit side and the credit side. Debit side, you have date column, particulars, LF number, ledger folio number, discount allowed, cash and bank. Credit side also same. Only the difference is instead of discount allowed, discount received column. In this table, at a time we are going to prepare these two accounts, cash account and bank account. And discount column is a memorandum column. In previous problems, clearly explained about this memorandum column, discount column. As three amount columns we have for discount, cash and bank, this table is known as triple column cash book. In question, starting two sentences are there, no? cash at bank, cash in hand. These two are known as opening balances. So cash in hand means what? So this book is prepared by the firm. In firm's cash box, so the cash balance on the starting date of the month is known as cash in hand. This is an asset. So asset shows a debit balance, no? Therefore, opening cash balance, always we have to write on debit side. Second sentence is cash at bank no? means we have one bank account. So in that account on starting date of the month, we have some balance. This is called favorable bank balance. So this is an asset. Therefore, bank balance also debit side only we should write. And the remaining sentences are known as transactions. So to record the transactions in triple column cash book, there are two methods. First one is journal entries method. So for every transaction, there will be one journal entry. We should think that journal entry and that journal entry we should post in the triple column cash book. Second method is hints method. So in present video, I'm going to explain this second method, hints method. See here, cash account, bank account we are preparing now. So cash account is a real account because Cash means asset, no? What is real account rule? Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. So in firm's books, we are preparing this book. To the firm, if cash is coming, debit side cash column, we should write. From the firm, if cash is going, credit side cash column, we should write. So for cash column, remember this hint. Then for bank column, so we have money in our bank account because of a transaction. Suppose our bank balance is increased. Assume that we deposited money into bank. So because of this transaction, bank balance increases. No? When bank balance is increasing, debit side bank column, we should write that. Suppose from bank account, we withdrew money. So from the bank, we are withdrawing the money. So bank balance decreases now. If bank balance decreases, credit side bank column, we should write the transaction. So for cash column, if cash is coming into the firm, debit side. If cash is going from the firm, credit side. For bank column, the hint is because of a transaction. If our bank balance is increasing, debit side bank column. If bank balance is decreasing, credit side bank column. So first opening balances we will write. 16th question I have written on the board. See, 1st July 2018, cash in hand 6,000, cash at bank 10,000. These two are known as opening balances, no? Assets, debit side we should write. 1st July 2018. For opening balances, we have to write two balance brought down. In cash column, 6,000 rupees. In bank column, 10,000 rupees. Remaining are transactions. For transactions, what is the rule? 
if cash is coming into the firm debit side cash column from the firm if cash is going credit side cash column if bank balance is increasing debit side bank column if bank balance is decreasing credit side bank column see cash sales 1900 we are for we sold goods to customer for cash so customer paid money to us so cash is coming means debit side cash column fifth date 1900 1900 fifth date what we sold when nothing is given meaning is goods are sold when goods are sold we should write to sales account next seventh date issued check to dmart 1800 rupees discount received 200 rupees so our firm has to give 2000 rupees to dmart so as a full settlement we have given a check of 1800 rupees to them means 200 is discount received here we issued check to dmart now issuing means giving so we give check to them what they do they go to our bank they present the check and they take money so bank balance decreases means credit side bank column date is 7th check amount 1800 check amount 1800 in discount column 200 rupees in particular so what to write to whom we issued this check to dmart so write that by dmart account next eighth day received cash from sai traders 1850 discount allowed 150 so 1850 plus 150 2000 rupees man. from sai traders firm has to receive 2000 rupees as a final settlement we received 1850 so we allowed 150 rupees discount and here cash is coming from sai traders to the firm cash is coming so debit side cash column no? amount is 1850 in discount column write down discount amount 150 rupees from whom we received this from sai traders in particular column to sai traders date is 8th next 14th date cash withdrawn from bank for office use 550 even though office use is not given same meaning so from the bank we withdrew money for office use so from bank cash is coming into the firm this is contra entry if he gives a personal use then that is not contra office use means contra even the office use word is not given contra so cash is coming into the firm so when cash is coming debit said cash column no? 550 rupees from bank we withdrew means bank balance is decreasing now credit said bank column contra therefore two times we are writing amount is 550 in bank column we wrote amount so in particular column we have to write by cash account if you write amount in cash column in particular we have to write by bank account this is contra entry you know, to indicate that in lf number column write down c date is 14 david said in cash column we wrote contra so in lf number column c and in particular column in cash column we wrote so what to write to bank account if you write the amount in bank column here we should write cash 14th date next 22nd cash purchase is 600 what we purchased for cash goods from supplier so from supplier we purchased goods goods are coming in return we paid cash to him cash is going when cash is going credit side no? 22nd 600 rupees 22nd date in cash column 600 we purchased goods when goods are purchased we should write by purchases account next 29th date 
paid into bank 800 what we pay into bank cash only no so paid into bank means cash deposited into bank this is contrary you know cash withdrawn from bank cash deposited into bank these two are contra entries two times we should write here first m1 column we will observe paid into bank our firm paid cash into bank cash is going so cash is going means credit side cash column 800 on 29th date cash is going so credit side cash column contra entry and we deposited 800 into bank so bank balance increases therefore debit side bank column 800 rupees contra no? so here c date is 29 now come to particulars column in bank column we wrote a book so what to write to cash account credit side in cash column we wrote a book so by bank account 29 completed next to come to 30 salary is paid by check 2400 so our firm has to give salary to our employee instead of giving cash we should check so employee goes to bank and takes money bank balance is decreasing credit side bank column 30 date 2400 in bank column what to write in particular column expenditure name by salaries account next on 31st day bank charges as per bank passbook 50 rupees bank is providing so many services to us when we deposit check they are collecting when we issue check they are paying as per our standing instructions our insurance premium our rent banker is paying from our account so for all these services time to time they charge how they charge from our account they deduct so when they deduct this 50 rupees bank balance decreases by 50 rupees no means credit side bank column we should write 31st date bank column 50 rupees in particular column write down the expenditure name expenditure name is bank charges by bank charges account so all transactions we have posted in the account finally we have to find out the balances discount columns we should not balance we should only total them because these are memorandum columns cash and bank columns we should balance debit discount column total 150 rupees credit discount column total 200 rupees cash debit and credit totals in rough notes we do. for cash columns debit cash column total is 10300 credit cash column total is 1400 difference 8900 credit side total is less so credit side we should write this answer 8900 for bank column also same no? debit total is more than credit total so the difference as credit total is less credit side we should act in bank column for these two in particular column write by balance carried out date is last date of the month july month the last date is 31st two sides put the highest total for cash column 10300 debit side and credit side for bank column 10800 on two sides as you are a student only for july month you prepare but when you work in organizations every month you have to prepare cash book like this so what is the next month august for this august month this balance carried down amounts we should bring so credit side balance carried down came now debit side we should bring date is next immediate date of this date so today is 31st july tomorrow first august no? first august 2018 what to write we are bringing the balance so write to balance brought down in cash column 8900 in bank column 6000 rupees remember for cash column debit should be more credit should be less 
then only problem is correct. Because debit side we are writing receipts, credit side payments. What we receive from that only we pay no. So payments cannot exceed the receipts. Therefore, credit should be less, debit should be more. And bank column, this is favorable bank balance no. We have money in our bank account. If favorable bank balance is given in the question, generally debit total will be more, credit total will be less. If overdraft bank balance is given in the question, then credit will be more, debit will be less. Now what is the meaning of these two answers? In the firm, on 1st July, 6000 cash is there. During this July month, firm received 1900, 1850, 550. So total cash receipts in July month is 10,300. From this receipts amount, firm paid 600 and 800. So at the end of the month, we should have 8,900 rupees. As per accounts, cash balance should be 8,900. So in cash box, when we count the money on 31st July, same amount should be there. Similarly, come to bank on on 1st July, in our bank account, 10,000 money is there. During this month, we deposited 800. So bank balance is 10,800. And in July month, we withdrew 1,800, 550, 2,400 and 50 rupees. Finally, in our bank account, at the end of the month, balance is 6,000 rupees. As per our cash book, bank balance is 6,000 on 31st July. On that day, we compare this balance with the passbook balance. Passbook is prepared by banks now. So if these two books balances are same, okay. Otherwise, to know the reasons, to confirm whether all the reasons for this disagreement are located or not, we have to prepare BRS, Bank Reconciliation Statement. That is another lesson for us. So, this is the end of present video. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.